Such a Worry, a testimony by Cynthia Rupti. If I hadn't been in such a worry, uh, I mean hurry. If I hadn't been in such a hurry, that's how the saying goes. I use it to explain away forgetting my phone at home. I chide myself with the phrase when I stumble or when I realize the food cooler for our camping trip is still in the garage 60 miles away. I pull out the phrase, if I hadn't been in such a hurry, to defend myself when I fail to notice a new stop sign or a friend across the street. But how many of life's oopses and agonies would fit if I hadn't been in such a worry? If I hadn't been so worried about being on time for my appointment, I wouldn't have been in a hurry and would have noticed the stop sign. If I hadn't been so worried about the cost of a new washing machine and its effect on our household budget, I wouldn't have snapped at my husband. If I hadn't been so worried, I could have heard the voice of Jesus reminding me that he's well aware of my needs. Worry leads to poor choices, loss of sleep, stomach and blood pressure issues, ornery attitudes, and relationship fractures. But Jesus specifically, for good reason, tells me, do not worry about your life. It's both the word of comfort and redirection when life gives me plenty to worry about. Just don't, he said, paraphrasing. Good counsel. Luke 12:22 Jesus said to his disciples Therefore I tell you do not worry about your life Faith step In what area are you most vulnerable to worry Children finances health Picture relinquishing those concerns to Jesus He knows what to do with worry.